thing is, I'm wondering what your approach would be to the homeless about like getting them like, I know San Luis Obispo has some good programs out there because I've been able to become a cameraman and you know, stuff on movie production company. But as far as down here in Orange County, where I, where I was born and raised and ended up on the streets, there's not much out there as services and helping the homeless. I mean, I used to work the highway to make my money, but the cops now I get tickets and miss me to take it and go to jail. Um, like I said, I got a lot of people out there on the freeway that want to help us that are asking for help that are not environment to them. Now, what would your approach be to help us out there? Well, I think one of the things is that the state, you know, the homeless issue and a number of other issues are issues that are have always best been handled by faith-based organizations. And I believe that we need to embrace the faith-based organizations of this state who have a passion for the people of the state to get them into, to, to develop programs that get the homeless back on track again. I'll just tell you one thing. Teen Challenge has an 85% recovery ratio in people who have alcoholism and drug addiction. It's the most successful program, and it's a faith-based program. It saved my brother's life. I believe in empowering those faith-based initiatives to get the job done. And um, so that's, my, that's, one of the, that's what I would do. Do I believe that we should do everything we can for the homeless? Absolutely. I'm at a Vietnam vet in Santa Maria whose wife had cancer, or had brain cancer. He could get any help from the VA. He fought in Vietnam and could get no help from the VA. He lost his business, he lost his house, he lost his wife. It's not right. Stop. I'm